Hello everyone, welcome to Red Stick channel, myself Karthik Pondoswami. So now, today we are going to look at what is abstraction in Java. So abstraction is nothing but a process of displaying only the essential portion of our implementation but not the internal implementation. Meaning, let's say it's service of providing only the important things but not showing the internal implementation. So I want to explain with a simple example to make you understand what actually it means. right? So let me start with an example of college project. Let's say in a college, uh, you want to implement a project, right? And uh, uh, so before you start writing up or start working on a project, uh, you have to come up with an idea about what is your project, right? So you are going to tell, okay, what is your project is all about and how it is, uh, you know, uh, what, what is your plan is all about, right? But you are not supposed to answer, like, you know, how you are going to implement the project, right? That will come in a real, point, real time, right? So this is one of the example wherein you are not telling uh, upfront saying that how you are actually implementing it but you are telling like what are the services you are going to provide as part of the project second thing is purchasing a car let's say you are going to a showroom and you are uh, you want to purchase a car and let's say you are calling the salesperson and says him hey boss can you please show the uh, you know uh, car and he opens the car and he is telling you know this car you can do auto gearing and you can do start stop all those features he's showing right but if you ask them how it is actually implemented let's say if you ask them how you can uh, you know when you do a start the car what happens internally then salesperson tells bus i don't know how it is implemented we are here to only you know offer the services provided by the car so this is how abstraction works and similarly there is another example like downloading an application so but let's say you are to download an application from app store or google play store right say let's say you download an application and let's say you got it as .exe file or .apk file and you don't exactly need to know how it is actually implemented by that particular you know developers for that particular application but you are still using that features of an application so this is called abstraction basically in java you don't need to know how actually it's implemented in the background but you need to you know use the features how it is offers so this is called abstraction in java and now why do we need abstraction in java because let's say tomorrow um, let's say the technology varies right um, different frameworks comes in market and if the company wants to implement in a different uh, you know uh, frameworks or different languages the end user should not get impacted right so that is why the internal implementation might get changed but only the customer will know only the external services what the product is offering so this is the main important feature of uh, abstraction and actually it is actually giving a security for the code because like no one knows how they actually implemented it and the, th the second one is um you know, the code enhancement let's say if i want to enhance my code i can do uh you know enhancing the code and third one is like by uh you know maintaining the code is easy because code maintenance is most uh, challenging one in any big project so that is going to satisfy by abstraction now i'm going to explain with a coding example so let's say you have a class called rd this is a car type right it's class rd which has two methods one is start and auto gear and similarly we have a class called uh, uh, class bmw which has start and auto gear okay so we have simple uh, you know uh, normal uh, classes now let's say i have a showroom okay so in this another class called showroom in the showroom i have a method called display so this method display is to display the rd car and there is another display method which is to display bmw car right but let's say if i go to a showroom let's say i'm going and meeting uh, you know uh, meet a, a sales manager and he says okay go and ask the display people to display the uh, car right and if i go to the display people there are two display people right let's say one to display rd car another one is to display bmw car so whichever i want i can i have to go and ask them and the display methods display people will show how to start a car how to use the auto gear right so this is the simple logic but instead of doing this you know two display methods what i can do in a better way is that you know looking at here rd and bmw both are what car right so let me create a class called car class called car okay and then in this class car i want to write these two methods okay because rd car and bmw bmw car both has these two methods right why not i can write this methods here right so let's say void start off okay and similarly void auto gear off see here i am closing with you know enclosed with uh, i'm i'm uh, finishing up with the semicolon it means like i'm not 
giving the implementation here implementation will be you know uh, under the each classes but i'm defining i i'm not defining here i'm just declaring what are the methods this car class contains okay so by looking at here since i'm not telling how it is actually implemented but i'm telling a car will ha will have a service of start and also a car will tell us about how uh, auto gear right so then i can make these two methods then i can make these two methods as abstract because this method is not telling the implementation but this method is giving us an abstract of what this car will uh, can do so the car you can start the car you can do auto give the car right and similarly i can make this as abstract so this abstract is a keyword in java which is used to explicitly tell that this particular method is an abstract wherein we don't define the implementation it is just an abstract so since i have you know um, both the methods as abstract then i should make this class as abstract class so i can use this abstract keyword at the class level to define that this class is a to tell this class is abstract class meaning so this class tells uh, highlights only the services what we offer but it won't tell the implementation so now since rd ka rd and bmw these both classes belongs to a car class what i can do i can use extends keyword extends car similarly here i can extends car right because both rd and bmw these two classes belongs to a car type so that i can extend this car so here instead of having you know Uh, writing two display methods what i can do simply in my main class in my main class showroom r is equal to no showroom of right then r dot i can simply call a display method so instead of calling instead of passing rd uh, object instead of passing rd object i can simply pass car object so how we can create a car object new car of so what it actually does it is going to create an object for car but here i can simply say car c instead of a dot star sorry here i need to create an object for audi car so here i am pausing here i am pausing the object of audi car which is of type car uh, and then it is going to call the implementation of audi class so if i say r dot display of new audi it means audi car uh, audi class object has been created and that is passed to this display method which is of type car and then the c dot star will automatically try to call this one since c doesn't have you know the implementation the real time implementation is in the car class and that is why you based on the audi constructor it is going to call start method of audi car audi class and similarly auto gear method of audi uh, audi class similarly if i want to call this one i can simply say r dot display of new bmw of right so here i am creating an object for bmw class and this class has been passed as parameter over here the display method and since it is of type car so it will accept it and c dot start and c dot auto gear will automatically call the bmw class and it is going to execute this so by this way we are hiding the important implementation we are just showing only the uh, real time uh, you know uh, front end interface so basically the abstraction is the logic which is mainly used in terms of security so abstraction can be implemented in two ways one is by making a class as abstract and the other one is uh, by using interface so that will be the next topic so basically if i have a class if i define a class as abstract then it means that uh, i can have a abstract method as well as non abstract method that non abstract method means that method might have implementation inside it so that non abstract method we call it as concrete class as well so if i define a class as abstract it may or may not have an abstract class uh, sorry concrete class but if i define any method in a class as abstract then definitely that class should be an abstract so this is the thumb rule so let me clear it again so if i define any method in a class as abstract then that class should be mentioned as abstract
first rule second rule is that if i uh, if i make a class as abstract so you can have only all the abstract class or you can have uh, abstract as well as non abstract class so this is the th second thumb rule so just make sure that you understand the abstraction concept clearly in java because we will be using this abstraction in real time project implementation or developing any product so let's get hands dirty in writing the code and see how the output works let's see this code so we have a cl uh, rd class and similarly we have a bmw class where we have both the methods defined and similarly we have a showroom class wherein we are having a display method to show rd car as well as uh, to show the bmw class okay and then in our main class where we are creating an object of showroom and then where we are displaying uh, we are calling the display method of showroom um, for uh, by passing the rd as well as bmw class let me execute this so this is a simple way of executing it right now we see this uh, r dot display which means like you know showroom um, where we are passing rd then it is calling uh, rd's start method and also uh, rd class uh, auto gear that is why it is displayed these two uh, output which is nothing but coming from these two methods okay and similarly r dot display of new bmw of which means like we are passing the object of bmw which means like you know it is calling this particular method and it is executing this particular uh, display method and this is internally calls the start and auto gear method of bmw class which is nothing but these two methods which is coming uh, through uh, you know displaying these two outputs so instead of writing like this so let's say i can write uh, abstract class uh, by just uh, display uh, showing only the important things like start and auto gear but the real time implementation is displayed in our uh, you know uh, implemented in our uh, actual classes so rd and bmw where it extends the car and then in the display uh, in the showroom uh, class i am just having only one display where i am displaying the car so based on the object what we create here the runtime so let's say if you create an object of rd car the runtime to and pass it to the display method then this, this car method uh, this car object will be of type rd and then it is going to call the rd cars uh, uh, method and if you on the runtime if you create an object of bmw class and if you are passing this bmw object to the display method as runtime then this car uh, accepts this bmw object and then it is going to call these two methods of bmw let's quickly go and execute it let me clear the locks let me quickly go and execute this see here the same output so this is the best way of implementing an uh, abstraction in java and if you guys have any questions in this video please post your comments in the comment section if you guys like this video please hit the like button and please share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button thanks for learning at redsystech i will see you in the next video thanks for watching